four was angry when he woke up and noticed his hammer was missing. His hair upright, his beard bristling, Earth's son felt all around himself. Listen to what I have to say now, Loki. No one else on Earth or in Heaven knows it. The hammer of the Aesir has been stolen. Thor and Loki went to find fair Freya's homestead. Freya, will you lend me your feather dress so I can find my hammer? Freya said, Yes, I'd give you the dress, even though it were of gold, and I give it to you as if it were of silver. Then Loki flew, his feather dress whirring, until he had left Asgard, the gardens of the gods, and arrived at Jotunheim, the home of the giants. Thrym, king of the giants, sat on a burial mound, twisting hands of gold as collars for his bitches, trimming the manes of his mares. Thrym said, What's up with the gods? What's up with the elves? Why have you come to Jotunheim by yourself? And Loki said, The gods and the elves fare ill. Have you hidden Thor's hammer? Thrym said, I have hidden Thor's hammer, eight leagues down deep in the earth. No one gets it back unless they bring me Freya to be my wife. Then Loki flew, his feather dress whirring, until he had Jotunheim, and until he was inside Asgard. He met Thor in the middle of the gardens. Do you have news, or did you work for nothing? Say your tidings now from the sky. A messenger's story is lost if he sits. If he lies down, he's sure to lie. Loki said, I have toiled and I have news. Thrym, the king of the giants, has your hammer. No one shall get it back unless he wins Freya to be his wife. Loki and Thor went to find fair Freya. Bind on the bridal linen, Freya. The two of us must haste to the home of the giants. Freya was angry and snorted with such rays that the hall of the Aesir shook below and broke her mighty, brizzing necklace. I would look very lustful if I went to Jotunheim with you. Later... All the Aesir met at a council, and the goddesses all spoke, too, to discuss and decide how to get back Thor's hammer. Then Heimdall, the widest of the gods, who knew the future well, said, Bind the bridal linen on Thor. Let him wear the great brizzing necklace. Let keys jingle from his waist, and women's clothes fall to his knee, and broad stones on his chest, and put something fitting on his head. Then the mighty god Thor answered, The gods would call me unmanly if I let them bind the bridal linen on me. Then Loki, Lofi's son, said, Silence, Thor, watch your language. The giants will immediately inhabit Asgard unless you get your hammer back. They bound the bridal linen on Thor and the great brizzing necklace and let keys jingle from his waist and women's clothes fall to his knee and broad stones on his chest and put something fitting on his head. Then Lofi's son, Loki, said, I will also go with you as your handmaid. The two of us must go to Jotunheim. Later, the goats were driven from the hall of the gods. Rushing against the wagon shaft, they ran so fast, mountains broke and flames burnt the earth. And so Odin's son went to Jotunheim. Then Thrym, king of the giants, said, Stand up, giants and throw straw on the benches to make them soft. Now I will win Freya to be my wife, Earth's daughter from Noah's garden. Here, in my garden, I have gold-horned cows, jet-black oxen, a delight for the giant. I own many treasures. I own a lot of jewelry. Only my Freya seems to be lacking. Evening came quickly, and beer was brought to the giants. Thor, dressed as Freya, ate one of the oxen by himself ate salmon, and all the delicacies that were set for the women. Loki, dressed as Sif, Thor's wife, drank three gallons of mead. Then the lord of the giants, Thrym, said, Whoever saw a bride with such a sharp bite? I have never seen a bride with such a broad bite, nor a maid who drank any more mead. The all-wise handmaid who sat in front of him found an answer to the giant's question. Freya hasn't eaten for eight nights, so mad keen she was about going to Jotunheim. 
The giant bent down under the bridal linen, desiring a kiss, but then jumped up all the way to the end of the hall. Why are Freya's eyes so fierce? It appears to me as if fire is burning from her eyes. The all-wise handmaid who sat in front of him found an answer to the giant's question. Freya hasn't slept at all for eight nights, so mad keen she was about going to Jotunheim. Then the lord of the giants, Thrym, said, Bring in the hammer to hallow the bride. Lay Mjolnir on the maiden's knees so we can bless Freya's hands together. Thor laughed with spirits in his chest when the hard-minded one recognized his hammer. He killed Thrym first, the lord of the giants, and then he destroyed the whole race of the giants. He killed the old giant's sister who had asked him for the bridal fee. She suffered a resounding blow for the money and for each of the rings she took. And so Odin's son got his hammer back.